Good morning, brothers and sisters. Welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa. Today is Friday of the 28th week in Ordinary Time. We will now have the morning prayer of the Church, integrated with the celebration of the Holy Mass. We invite you to actively participate in our prayers. Please stand. Lord, open my lips, and my, my mouth, mouth shall declare, declare your praise. Come, let us praise the Lord, in Him is all our delight. Come, let, let us praise, praise the Lord, Lord. In, in Him is all our delight. O God, be gracious and bless us, and let your face shed its light upon us. So will your ways be known upon earth, and all nations learn your saving help. Come, let, Come, let us praise, praise the, the Lord, Lord. In, in Him is all our delight. delight. Let the peoples praise you, O God. Let all the peoples praise you. Come, let us praise the Lord. In Him is all our delight. Let the nations be glad and exult, for you rule the world with justice. With fairness you rule the peoples. You guide the nations on earth. Come, let us praise the Lord. In Him is all our delight. The earth as you... Let the peoples praise you, O God. Let all the peoples praise you. Come, let us praise the Lord. In Him is all our delight. The earth has shielded its fruit, for God our God has blessed us. May God still give us His blessing, till the ends of the earth revere Him. Come, let us praise the Lord. In Him is all our delight. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Come, let us praise the Lord. In Him is all our delight. Please be seated. Create a clean heart in me, O God. Renew in me a steadfast spirit. Have mercy on me, God, in your kindness. In your compassion, blot out my offense. O wash me more and more from my guilt, and cleanse me from my sin. My offenses truly I know them. My sin is always before me. Against you, you alone, have I sinned. What is evil in your sight I have done. That you may be justified when you give sentence, and be without reproach when you judge. O see, in guilt I was born, a sinner was I conceived. Indeed, you love truth in the heart. Then in the secret of my heart, teach me wisdom. O purify me, then I shall be clean. O wash me, I shall be whiter than snow. Make me hear rejoicing and gladness, that the bones you have crushed may revive. From my sins, turn away your face, and blot out all my guilt. A pure heart create for me, O God. Put a steadfast spirit within me. Do not cast me away from your presence, nor deprive me of your Holy Spirit. Give me again the joy of your help. With a spirit of fervor, sustain me, that I may teach transgressors your ways, and sinners may return to you. O oh, rescue me, God, my helper, and my tongue shall ring out your goodness. O oh, Lord, open my lips and my mouth shall declare your praise. For in sacrifice you take no delight. Burnt offering from me you would refuse. My sacrifice a contrite spirit, a humble, contrite heart you will not spurn. In your goodness show favor to Zion. Rebuild the walls of Jerusalem. Then you will be pleased with lawful sacrifice, holocaust offered on your altar. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. 
Rejoice, Jerusalem, for through you all men will be gathered to the Lord. Let all men speak of the Lord's majesty and sing his praises in Jerusalem. O Jerusalem, holy city, he scorch you for the work of your hands, but will again pity the children of the righteous. Praise the Lord for his goodness and bless the King of the ages, so that his tent may be rebuilt in you with joy. May he gladden within you all who were captives, all who were ravaged, may he cherish within you for all generations to come. A bright light will shine to all parts of the earth. Many nations shall come to you from afar, and the inhabitants of all the limits of the earth, drawn to you by the name of the Lord God, bearing in their hands their gift for the King of Heaven. Every generation shall give joyful praise in you, and shall call you the Chosen One, through all ages forever. Go then, rejoice over the children of the righteous, who shall all be gathered together, and shall bless the Lord of the ages. Happy are those who love you, and happy those who rejoice in your prosperity. Happy are all the men who shall grieve over you, over all your chastisements. For they shall rejoice in you, as they behold all your joy forever. My spirit blesses the Lord, the great King. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Zion, praise your God, who sent his word to renew the earth. O praise the Lord, Jerusalem. Zion, praise your God. He has strengthened the bars of your gates. He has blessed the children within you. He established peace on your borders. He feeds you with finest wheat. He sends out his word to the earth and swiftly runs his command. He showers down snow white as wool. He scatters her frost like ashes. He hurls down hailstones like crumbs. The waters are frozen at his touch. He sends forth his word, and it melts them. At the breath of his mouth, the waters flow. He makes his word known to Jacob, to Israel his laws and decrees. He has not dealt thus with other nations. He has not taught them his decrees. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. May your grace, O Lord, we pray at all times, go before us and follow after, and make us always determined to carry out good works. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, in Christ we were also chosen, destined in accord with the purpose of the one who accomplishes all things according to the intention of his will, so that we might exist for the praise of his glory, we who first hoped in Christ. In him you also, who have heard the word of truth, the gospel of your salvation, and have believed in him, were sealed with the promise, Holy Spirit, which is the first installment of our inheritance toward redemption as God's possession, to the praise of his glory. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Blessed the people the Lord has chosen to be His own. Blessed the people the Lord has chosen to be His own. Ex exalt you just in the Lord. Praise from the upright is fitting. Give thanks to the Lord on the heart. With the ten-stringed lyre, chant His praise. Blessed the people the Lord has chosen to be His own. For upright is the word of the Lord, and all his works are trustworthy. He loves justice and right. 
of the kindness of the Lord, the earth is full. Blessed the people the Lord has chosen to be His own. Blessed the nation whose God is the Lord, the people He has chosen for His own inheritance. From heaven the Lord looks down, He sees all mankind. Blessed the people the Lord has chosen to be His own. Please stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. At the time, so many people were crowding together that they were trampling one another underfoot. Jesus began to speak first to his disciples. Beware of the leaven that is the hypocrisy of the Pharisees. There is nothing concealed that will not be revealed, nor secret that will not be known. Therefore, whatever you have said in the darkness will be heard in the light, and what you have whispered behind closed doors will be proclaimed on the housetops. I tell you, my friends, do not be afraid of those who kill the body but after that can do no more. I shall show you whom to fear. Be afraid of the one who, after killing, has the power to cast into Jehenna. Yes, I tell you, be afraid of that one. Are not five sparrows sold for two small coins? Yet not one of them has escaped the notice of God. Even the hairs of your head have all been counted. Do not be afraid. You are worth more than many sparrows. Friends, brothers, and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Good morning po sa inyong lahat and welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. Ating makikita sa mga nangyayari sa mundo na there are enough, more than enough reasons actually to be anxious, mag-alala, to worry, or perhaps even to be afraid. afraid. Gera sa Ukraine at sa Russia, imbis na tumigil o humina ay lalong nag escalate Hindi lamang sa Russia, there are parts of Africa that are also at war. Maaaring hindi lamang natin nababalitaan, pero nangyayari pa rin ang mga gera sa Middle East, ganun din. At sa pockets here, even in our own country, meron ding mga hidwaan at meron ding labanan. Nearer our ourselves or our lives, meron din tayong mga sitwasyon personal halimbawa sadness of separation from dear friends and relatives loneliness of a new challenge in faraway lands doon sa mga nag-aabroad as nagmamigrate abroad false accusations from an ungrateful friend or employee illness sickness or disease or unexpected death in the family wherever we turn we get perhaps the impression that pinapabayaan ba tayo ng Diyos? So there is enough reason for us to worry, to be anxious, and to take control of our lives sa ating mga kamay. Pero ano sabi ng Panginoon? Well, 
sadness, discouragement, even death is part of our lives. Ati makikita nga sa first reading eh, ang sinasabi doon, uh, yung ginawa ng Panginoon para sa atin ang first installment. So there is actually nothing to fear. Kanino ba tayo nakasandal? Nakasandal tayo sa pader kapag kaalam natin no? na there is nothing really hidden in the eyes of God. Kahit na ang ating mga kasalanan, kahit ang ating mga pagkakamali, alam naman ng Panginoon na hindi tayo perfect eh. Diba? Kung tayo ay nagkakamali, kahit na ang ating mga secret sins, alam din niya ng Panginoon. Wala tayong maitatago sa Kanya. Kung tayo ay nagkulang, kung tayo ay nagkamali, kung tayo ay nagkasala, there is such a thing as forgiveness. Kaya nga ang mga sinasabi ng Panginoon ay be careful of the yeast or the leaven that is the hypocrisy of the Pharisees. Ano bang ibig sabihin ng hypocrisy na yan? Maskara. Ang feeling kasi ng mga Pharisees at that time, controlled nila lahat, pati ang kanilang buhay. Yes, they know a lot of things about the law, about the Bible, about scriptures. But why is it that uh, malayo ang kanilang mga puso at buhay sa Panginoon? E sinasabi nga ng Panginoon sa atin, Do not be afraid, huwag kayong matakot. Imagine yung mga buhok natin na bilang na. We are worth more than sparrows. Murang-mura lang ang mga ibon noon kung gagamitin nila sa pagkain, di ba? We are part of the chosen people of God. At kapag inisip natin yan, lalong-lalo na sa mga nagsisimba araw-araw, di ba? We are aware of the fact that we are not in control of our lives. Who is in control of our lives? Ang Panginoon. Kaya nga tayo siguro nagsisimba at uh, paraging pumupunta sa simbahan at nananalangin at nagdarasal upang humingi ng kanyang awa. Kasi kung sa sarili lang natin, kung hindi tayo uh, dudulog sa Panginoon, sa panalangin at sa misa, mawawalan ka ng dibdib eh, di ba, sa mga nangyayari sa ating buhay. So the Lord tells us, do not be afraid. Huwag kayong matakot. Huwag tayong matakot. Meron tayong mapupuntahan. No matter what happens, Ang ibig kong sabihin ng Jehenna eh, impyerno. That is hell. So part of our lives, sadness, discouragement, death. Kailangan natin tanggapin yan. Pero sabi nga ng Panginoon sa kanyang mga disipulo at sa kanyang mga tagasunod, okay lang yung death eh. But what happens after death? There are things that can send you to eternal damnation. At pagka pumunta na tayo doon, there is no more turning back. Kaya kanino tayo sasandal, kanino tayo pupunta sa Diyos lamang. Wala nang iba. Sana nga ay palaging ganyan ang ating basihan, ang ating mga choices in life. Para yung ating behavior, yung ating iginagawi ay palaging lalapit o papalapit sa atin sa Panginoon. Hindi yung tayo ang magkukontrol sa ating buhay. Ang Diyos ang may tangan at may hawak ng ating buhay. That is why there is no reason to be afraid at all. We now stand to offer our prayers and petitions. Let us pray to our Father in heaven with complete trust so that free from all paralyzing fears, we may have the courage to build up His kingdom. For each intention we shall say, Loving Father, cast out our fears. Loving, Loving Father, Father, cast out, out our, our fears. fears. That our church leaders may not be discouraged by the trials and challenges <clears throat> of renewal, but be more committed and zealous in bringing about change and conversion in society. Let us pray to the Lord. Loving Father, cast out our fears. That those who are persecuted because of their belief in Jesus Christ may be strengthened and sustained by their faith. Let us pray to the Lord. Loving Father, cast out our fears. That we Christians may find joy in our faith even when we are faced with trials and distress. Let us pray to the Lord. Loving Father, cast out our fears. That those who suffer in this life, especially the sick, 
may experience the, the healing comfort of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Loving Father, cast out our fears. For our Pope, the College of Bishops, parents, relatives, benefactors, and for all those whom we promise to pray, let us pray to the Lord. Loving Father, cast out our fears. For vocations and the needs of the province, and for our brothers in ministry at St. John Lateran and St. Albert the Great, let us pray to the Lord. Loving Father, cast out our fears. For the intentions of the devotees and pilgrims of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, and for our personal intentions. Let us pray to the Lord. Loving Father, cast out our fears. That the faithful departed may reap the rewards of their labor. Let us pray to the Lord. Loving Father, cast out our fears. Father of all times and seasons, give us courage and strength that we may persevere in doing good. We ask this through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Yes, we have this bread to offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us our bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this wine to offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please stand. Let us pray, dear friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and the glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Accept, O Lord, the prayers of your faithful with the sacrificial offerings that through these acts of devotedness we may pass over to the glory of heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for although you have no need of our praise, Yet our thanksgiving is itself your gift, since our praises add nothing to your greatness, but profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. And so in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you and with joy we proclaim.
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you in a similar way when supper was ended he took the chalice and once more giving thanks he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity Together with Francis, our Pope, Socrates, our Bishop, Fidelis, his auxiliary Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, the Blessed Apostles, Saints Dominic and Francis, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. <clears throat> At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we now dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom come, come thy, thy will be done, done on earth as it is in heaven. 
Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you. My peace, I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other Christ's sign of peace. Sa inyo pong lahat, peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Kaunting paalala lang po, bago kayo mag-communion, pakitanggal lang po ng inyong mask before you approach and receive the Holy Communion in your hand para hindi po tayo ma-aksidente o malaglagan ng ostya kasi kapag kasabay po uh, tapos nakahahawakan ninyo yung ostya kumisan na, na natatapon po. So para maiwasan yun let us remove our mask put it down before we do this.
please stand. Through the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has, he has raised, raised up for us a mighty Savior, born, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He, he promised, promised to, to show mercy to our, our fathers and to, and to remember his, his holy covenant. covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, you my child, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, High for, for you will go before, before the Lord to prepare his way. way to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Through the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us. Let us pray. We entreat your majesty most humbly, O Lord, that as you feed us with the nourishment which comes from the most holy body and blood of your Son, so you may make us sharers of his divine nature, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Once again, we thank you for being one with us in the celebration of the Holy Eucharist this morning. Please continue to pray for us and the work that has been entrusted to us in ministering and serving the pilgrims and sa nasasakupan po ng aming parokya. Makakaasa din po kayo na kami ay magdarasal para sa inyong mga intentions and for your well-being. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. We have offered the Holy Eucharist. We go in peace, glorifying the Lord with our lives. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. We shall now have the prayer of the blessing of the sick and afterwards the blessing of rosaries and other religious articles. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness and restore them to good health. Through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen and in memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa, may these rosaries, images, candles, oil, and other religious articles be blessed and made holy in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.